Greetings and welcome to Tiny Topia. I'm Catherine of Sky, and huge thank you to the developers for giving me a key to play this preview beta demo build. So uh, as it suggests, this is still in beta. This is not released yet. And therefore there will be bugs and things and uh, other fun stuff that we might find. But we are going to enjoy this game because I have been practicing this and it's it's kind of fun so far. Uh, at first it reminded me a little bit of Balanced City. I don't know if you guys remember that game that I played way back back when um, but this is a game where you kind of like connect buildings together and then um, kind of make bigger and better things out of them now there are a number of regular kinds of things we have this tutorial city which is just a basic little city as you he see here and then we moved on to fledgling fields um, where we learned how to combine buildings and all of that kind of thing and then we have found some other stuff we have challenges like this one which was to build a stack of buildings up to a specific height and then there's this one over here, Teeter Town, where you need to balance your buildings on a ruler. Now, keep in mind that these buildings are like houses and office spaces. So you need to have enough jobs to attract enough people, uh, as well as services like fire services and police and hospital, that kind of thing. So what I thought would be kind of fun to do is we have one uh, city over here. Most of them are locked because uh, they will be available in the full game. As you can see, there's kind of a cabillion of them, Coin Pusher, Micro nation tokyo rope volcano all kinds of fun stuff here that we probably will be able to get to when the the game is released but for now i was considering doing new york now this has three different um uh requirements uh kind of achievement kind of things what we need to do to kind of like finish this city build this city's famous landmarks now landmarks are buildings that you unlock via doing various things in the game a residential skyscraper and provide police coverage for five thousand citizens now that's a lot of citizens so let's see what we start off with here okay so we have our city and we've got uh, little cars coming in. We need to make sure that the city is connected via roads. And so far it is. We do have, uh, let's see, there's roads over here. That's just fine. Seems great. And we have our power plant. And I'm really uh, surprised about these houses because they're kind of barely within the power plant coverage. So what I'm thinking is we're going to move that power plant over here. Because we would like to provide power to the rest of the world. Now, the power plant cannot be upgraded, as we see, um, because when you click on a building or when you hover a building that can be upgraded, it will show you what it needs. Now, let's see. Uh, this is a tier three store and you can see barely there's on the kind of lower right side. You can see how there is a, um, a shadow of the other part of the store. So I would like to actually turn this around. Uh, with the move building tool and we're going to move this like right there so here you can see it better but oh, we can't see it there but let's do this one and we can put a tier two store or tier one store next to it well actually a tier two because we're going to combine two tier ones and they're going to clump together hooray and then we're going to build uh another layer to that one that's going to clunk together and these are going to clunk together as well yay so now we have a much bigger store it's kind of hard to see between all of these buildings uh but then the last thing is to put one on top there we go and that kind of increases our uh our cap for residents here uh for what we need now our residents pay taxes and those taxes are based on the number of services they get. So they need electricity, they need road coverage, they need firefighters, police coverage, hospital, and of course, a place to work. So I wanna build, before we get way into building stuff, we aren't making a lot of money, but I think it's much better to uh, increase our maintenance by increasing our emergency services and thereby increasing our taxes. So let's go ahead and start building some of these buildings. Let's see, we have a fire station. Let's just build that there. Now, what does a fire station need to expand? Oh, it needs three in a row. So let's just do that. Cause you see how small the coverage area of this fire station is. I really would like to extend that. So we can just place one there and one there. So you can either work in isometric mode or you can work in top down mode, which you can just press tab to get into. 
All right, can this be expanded? Yes, we can put a helipad on the top. We don't actually need it right now because uh, this area is plenty big enough for us to work in so far. Um, all right, so then that's that. Let's build a police station. Let's just start with this. I'm not quite sure which way this is gonna go. Okay, so it needs four small police stations clumped together. Now I'm doing a lot of this because we have a ton of money in the beginning of the game. Okay, and this one needs like a little radar thing on top. Yeah, let's actually add that police camera on top. There we go. That clunks together, tier three. Let's see how big is this? Oh, that's a huge area. Look at that, it's massive. Okay, let's leave that as it is so far. Okay, so that's a good start for our stuff. Now let's look at our budget. We're making just a little bit less because our taxes went way up. So that's great. Um, so now let's start getting some people in here. I think it's a good idea. Now we start off with several different uh, buildings and you can see they have different capacities of citizens there as well. So I wanna see what we can do here. Uh, let's see, we want a residential skyscraper. I'm not really sure what that starts off with. So let's just check. We can look at, let's start with the New York apartment. We'll just put one kind of in the middle because I'm not sure how it upgrades. Oh, it's just a single building. Okay, then that's that. What about a classy apartment? What does that do? Okay, this one needs, let's zoom in here on this one. It needs a, a okay, hello, really? Okay, this is very confusing to me. Let's see, I think it needs a fancy this thing on top. Maybe two of them. Let's see. Yes, okay, yes, cool. Maybe not. Uh, Tier three classy houses. Did this just upgrade? No. Oh no, this went really wrong. <laughs> this went really wrong. Okay, let's get the tier two classy house made over here and figure out, oh, maybe that's what it was, tier three classy house, I see. Okay, that's why it looked a little bit strange because it was like different than we expected. All right, there we go. So we have a new thing. So now we need a tier one classy house, tier one classy house and tier two classy house. I see, all right. Wait, no, it wants a tier three now. Hold on. Wow, okay, so. Let's do two tier two classy houses. These are what, sideways? Okay, cool. I'll just kind of clunk them down. Also, you can turn on auto snap if you want to, uh, to move things a little bit uh, bit. I don't think it's actually gonna work with this particular situation, but if there are things where you have to stack a lot of them, I found that it's quite easy to use the auto snap. It's very nice. Okay, let's chuck this one on top of there as well. All right, this is looking very funny. I like this kind of uh, building style of like everything clunking together. It's quite funny. Hello? 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 No? What? No? Why? Okay. This one wants those three things. I thought that was the correct order. Let's just make sure again. Let's move them around. It is costing us money to move these guys, but it's fine, right? How much are they to build? Oh yeah, they are. It is better to. Okay. So yeah, that's supposed to be right. Just move it there. Yes, okay. Okay, let's put this one on top. Yep, still needs those two more. All right. Maybe I just aligned them badly or something. I don't know. Woohoo! Oh, wow. There we go. Ooh, tier three classy apartment. That is fancy. Look at this. Wow. It looks crazy, but it's cool. <laughs> it's fun. So how many citizens does this hold? This is a population of 104 in this building. That's kind of cool, I think. That's really nice because we're going to have to get a lot of people into this city here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this by the road. By the way, it's not important if they face the road. They just need to be within range of a road. That's the important part. Okay, so let's look at the monoblock. 
I'm still not sure how to build a residential skyscraper, if that's a building or if that's something else. So, our, or if it's like um, one of the special things, because we do have our special buildings. We've got Statue of Liberty, uh, Empire State Building, and One World Trade Center. Okay. Okay, now these guys, I want to build stuff next to it. Let's see. Now, it doesn't have road access, but we'll fix that. It'll be fine. Here's a good part for the snapping, by the way. There we go. That's a great part. Great section for snapping. Okay, they clunk together. Hooray. And we need to do the same thing again. All right, that's cool. There we go. And clunk. Yay. All right, so here is... Wow, we need to do that again. Okay. This might be our residential apartment block where I'm pretty sure. Wow, it's getting bigger. It's kind of cool to see all the things like evolve. I think this is really fun. Okay, so here we have tier six mono block. Wow, we want a tier two classy apartment and an obelisk. Wow, holy fuzzy cats. That does not look like a tier two classy apartment, I gotta say. That looks like something bigger. Really? Huh. Oh no, this is the classy apartment. Never mind. Okay, so let's get let's find out what a tier two looks like. Uh tier three classy house. Okay, so let's build that first. Forgot how these oh, they're side to side. Whoops. Okay, mess that at one up. So tier three is kinda this way. And we can move that on top. Let's turn off auto snap uh, at specific moments. Okay, there we go. So this one is, let's see, I think we do this one first. Seems like, I hope. Okay, and then one more on top. There we go, and get our obelisk. Ooh, 80,000 for this. Wow. Is it worth it? I don't know. Holy fuzzy cats. That's huge. Wow. How many people? 300 people live in this building. Wow. That's amazing. Well, that is pretty cool. I like it. Okay. Let's move this building around. Oops. Uh, let's just move it here. Can't see where I'm going. There we go. Let's just move it right next to this building. Nice. Wow, looking good. Now we are kind of, were we out of jobs? We are kind of out of jobs, aren't we? So let's make a um, a job place. What are we getting for money, by the way? Yeah, 5,800 per something, per period of time. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We can also start with a larger office. There's a store, we have an office, finance office, and a school has a lot of jobs. Library, 500 jobs, but $15,000. I still think it's a good use of stuff. Let's just put the library like there. I don't see if we can, um, how many jobs is that? 500 jobs? Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, a new special building is available. Cool, cool. All right, so now our next goal is 2,000 people. I think, wow, let's see. This one holds 104. This one is 390. Wow, that's a lot of people. All right, so we need to keep building those things, I think. So let's go ahead and keep on building these. So this was the, I think we started off with the monoblock, like a cabillion of those. Let's go ahead and do the, the uh, auto snap here on that one. There we go. They are extremely space efficient, these monoblocks. Start here. I think it was four across, approximately. Nope, nope, something went wrong. No! Okay, tier three mono block. This is a tier four already. Okay. All right, there we go. It's fine though, we'll get it working. Oh dear. Oh dear. Got a bit confused there. I don't know if this will jig together, but we'll see. Clunk. Please. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. 
Yeah, it did. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we got two of these now. This is kind of great. Okay, um, we we need more energy. Now this thing, I don't think we can expand the coal plant. So let's put in something else. The coal plant is 900 energy. Uh, the wind turbine is much more expensive. But it may not give as much unhappiness rating. Because the coal plant has a pretty big AOE of unhappiness and and clear on joy happening. Uh, we could put this one here. The nuclear plant, 5,000 energy for 1,000 money, which is very good. Very, very good. Um, solar panel, yeah, let's do that. Let's just build big, shall we? Oops, I was gonna turn it toward the road, but I think we'll just leave it. We'll just be overlooking this nice pond over there. But yeah, money doesn't seem to be an issue here because we are making a decent amount right now. And it's, uh, yeah, getting pretty, pretty expensive. I'm going to move one of these towers over here. And let's see, what do we need here again? We need the tier two classy apartment, which was, let's find that again. Okay, there's, uh, yeah, we need two of these. Because one for each. And then this one needs, of course, the tier three classy house, which I forgot how to build again. All right. And then we needed, ah, yes, it's the double house. Okay, let's go back behind. Okay, and then we will move that one up above here. Let's turn off the auto snap. I think it needs to be kind of like centered on that. Whoopsies, whoopsies, help. Okay, and then we, this just needs, so this is the tier two classy apartment, right? And then we need a tier one classy apartment. So let's just stack these right where they need to go. Go up there and then put in another one. I think this is right. I'm not quite sure actually. Is that right? Oh, and an obelisk, of course. And the obelisks are of course extremely expensive. Uh, but let's see, what do we have here if we don't put that on? We have... 200 there we have 35 and 25 so yeah 200 so that's like 270 or something like that uh, and I think we can make them quite a bit bigger there we go obelisk and obelisk hooray there we go 300 yeah so I oh 390 390 that's pretty decent I don't know I guess it's worth it so let's move this one as well we can uh, move this guy. Actually, we don't need auto snap on for this. Thinking we can put this one maybe over here. Okay, so there we go. This seems to be a really efficient way of creating um, stuff because these New York apartments, they actually only have a population of 39 each. So that's not, not a lot, that's for sure. Uh, all right, what do we else we got? Residential, classy apartment. Did we try, I think we tried the classy houses. And it is, yeah, the uh, classy apartments. Let's build, let's build them on mass, shall we? We need to go and get quite a few more of these. Oh no, it's actually the mono blocks that we need. Oh <gasps> no! Whoops. Okay, let's build those on mass instead. This will be entertaining. There we go. Doesn't want to clonk over there. I don't know why. Let's just build a few of these guys here. There we go. Are they going to glue? Yes. Hooray for glue. That was great. Glue is great. All right. This makes it easier to kind of like build a whole bunch of these guys and then... Fill them up with people and hopefully we don't have a fire or something because that can be annoying. Another special building is available. We should really look at these special buildings because they might be able to do something for us. Okay, let's see. What's the next step? We need the tier three monoblock. Okay. 
forgot about oh no 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 not there I don't want it there go away this is a nice really easy recipe to do yeah from these tenements you get these very fancy skyscraper that's pretty neat go there all right good good all right, there we go. We're just going to like try to cap out our population here because we need to get to 5,000. That would be, whoopsies, no, I don't want that one there. Let me move this one over there instead. There we go. That's what we need. And then we need our apartment towers. All right, and already we're lacking jobs. So that's something we're gonna need to do here shortly. Okay, and then we do our classy apartments and we need one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay, let's just do that. So this is, we need a tier three classy house. All right, I think I remember how to make those. That's this one, this one, this one, and that one. Is that a tier three house? That is a tier three house. Okay, great. So this is, oh, excuse me. Oh wait, this one needs tier two classy apartment. All right, that's fine. So we move this on top of that. Oopsies, here we need to turn off the auto snap. And then we move the whole thing on top of here and then add another one. And then we'll put the obelisks on at the very end. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do five more of these guys. One, two, three, four, and five. And then let's make a bunch of classy houses. Oh, whoopsies. Okay, hopefully those will connect anyway. There we go. There we go. Lots of, lots of combining to do here for our poor little buildings. They need to do their things. Okay, let's just go ahead and start putting these on top. This is where we turn off the auto snap. Oops, I want to have it facing this way. I'm not sure if they combine properly if they're facing the wrong direction. Move that one there, okay. Move this one over here. This one over there. I'm not really sure. Oh, you might be able to fit them all on top anyway. Not quite sure. Oh, many special buildings are available. But I am interested in automation here. I am wanting to do batch processes. And we can all move all the buildings together afterward. We have mountains of money. I like mountains and mountains of money. So we don't have to worry about these costs of like 500 to move the building or anything like that. So there we go. We have this. Let's get our tier one apartments on top there. There we go. Hooray. There we are. Nice. And of course, the ever important obelisks. Hooray. All right, New York, you are gonna be filled with glorious buildings. Oh, something's wrong with this one. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I, did I misprint the obelisk? Why? Hello, what's going on? We really would like it to be there, <laughs> help. No, what happened? Okay, let's just move this thing. Let's see, let's move this. Okay, this is right. Move the next part. Maybe I just wasn't centered or something. I'm not quite sure. All right, move this one. Maybe, hello? No, what's going on with this? Why is this not functioning well? Let's see, let's try to move. Uh, maybe this piece isn't quite, I didn't think it was that picky. Please? <laughs> no, why? No, it's not combining. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, okay. All right, let's just make sure. Okay, so that one's facing front. This one is facing front. Let's move this one. This one is facing also front. All right, let's move that one. It tells us, okay, 
This thing, that thing, and that thing. I'm pretty sure these are the correct things, right? Tier two classy apartment. Yeah. Let's move this one up here. Let's move this one on top of that one. Okay. Okay. We're doing the thing. There we go. Okay. We got it. Finally. All right. So now we have mountains and mountains of people in here. Now they aren't uh, particularly populated. I think we need a lot of jobs to satisfy our folks. However, I'm going to just move uh, our places around. Oops, let's see, what is this again? This is, oh, that's the New York apartment. I'm just gonna build that a tiny bit closer maybe. Maybe face it, uh, oops, move. Hello, okay, there we go. I'll put it over there. And then I'm going to move some of these apartments in here. Oh, oh, oops. That one clunked into the other one. Whoops. Let's move this one there. Can actually... Let's just rotate this one here. I am kind of afraid of fire. Uh, so I'm going to try to space them out a tiny bit. Actually, let's do this one there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. <gasps> no. Oh, that's, um, they didn't die. It's kind of comical looking. <laughs> oh, dear. That they, apparently their hitbox is a little bit more than I anticipated. Okay, here, you stand over there, please. And I'll pick you up and you're going to go back over here. Oh, dear. <laughs> that's funny. Well, that, that worked differently than I expected. See, I thought they're... I don't know, their hitbox on the bottom is what they have, but no, no. They have a side hitbox as well. Okay, you can't put building to building apparently. I, I just, who knows why? That seems strange to me. Okay, let's that, that can clonk over there together because inevitably we're going to have to build more. All right, I want to build some... Uh, we have overlays as well. We have taxes collected area quality. Now quality is determined by kind of like uh, negative influences like this coal power plant and also positive ones that we can add like flower beds for example of uh, trees, we have monuments, obelisks, that kind of thing uh, and they all cost different things to keep up. Uh, we have general happiness and that is also related to how many services they get and their uh, environment quality. Population density employment yeah we have some in the red there and energy of course and fire protection and then we have police okay and hospital whoa we don't have a hospital yet wow we could be getting many more taxes huh how is that working and anyway let's go and build ourselves a hospital that would be nice um let's go and do that real quick it's in the emergency services all right let's build a big hospital i think that would be useful this one is okay two side by side very nice. And then what do we want on top? A helipad. Hooray. There we go. Clunk. That gives us a pretty big uh, coverage area, but not like super big. Uh, so I'm going to move this around a tiny bit. Let's go from overhead view and uh, move it from there to kind of like cover different parts of our city. Let's put one there. Let's make another one. Uh, maybe here-ish. Uh, alright, so let's move this one. Would be nice to have, like, um, multiple coverage views, as in, like, you could see where the other coverage circles are, uh, when you're placing one that's already there. That would be cool. Uh, police is... We already have police coverage, I think. Let's add a couple of, um... I don't know, items here. Let's see, we've got a statue, we have an arch. That has a really big coverage area. That seems nice. Uh, let's add this here. And then here, let's add a couple of flower trees in between. I think that would be nice. Oh, they're poor things are never gonna grow because they're in the shade, but that should at least help our happiness or area quality. Okay, this one is still unhappy. So let's see, we need to add maybe, maybe we just need to do another big building, like an obelisk or something like that. But let's leave that until we actually have more in here. 
to look at. Um, now we need jobs very desperately. So let's see what we can do. These are 500 jobs at the library. That is massive. I don't know if we even want to deal with offices because they are quite small and compared to the library, at least for now. So let's add this here. Let's go there. 500 jobs in one chunk is amazing. Okay, work available and zero. I wonder if we can stack these. Probably. Probably won't give us a bonus, but they they do stack nicely because they're the same height and same something. Good, good. All right, so we have a little bit of work available. We can actually add another library. I think we'll add one on the other library we have. Kind of like spread out the jobs a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so cool. There we go. Yeah, New York, you're getting you're getting overrun by stuff. <laughs> Let's look at our special buildings and we have our Statue of Liberty. So what do we need to do here? Build the city's famous landmarks. Okay, so these don't actually give us a benefit. So what we can do is just put them elsewhere since they don't seem to have any effect on things. Let's put the Statue of Liberty by the water somewhere since that's a little bit more... Um, well, accurate, sort of. It's not an island, but it will do if we put it, like, right over here. Yay. Oh, we could put it here. Jeez. Didn't even notice that. Here. Here. Go over here. Hello? Oh, we can't move the landmarks. Whoops. Ah, uh, well, it's fine. You know what? We can put the Empire State Building on the island instead. We'll just trade them out, shall we? <laughs> That's a bit nuts. Uh, One World Trade Center. We don't have them yet. We need a population of 4,000 to get that one. So let's go and I think we should build some more of these buildings. It looks like we are still short on jobs. That surprises me a bit, but let's see. Let's build another library. Why not? Uh, let's see. Library, you stack up over here. Now, there aren't any other um, needs, as in, like, uh, school, for example. That's not a need. So that's kind of, like, up to your discretion. All right, let's go put that there. All right, cool. There we go. And let's go back to regular view here, and we can build a few more of these office buildings. Let's see. Um, all right, 5,000 citizens. That's where we're going next, I see. This building is a tiny, tiny bit tilted, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna work on tilting buildings. I can just relax and chill. Yeah. Okay, let's start with, uh, this one over here and make this one into a building. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. Can always just kind of build one next to it. All right, very good. Oh, that's I messed that one up again. Darn it. Sometimes it's easy to like put stuff behind, even though you don't intend to, obviously. But um, there we go. So these are, what, 400 at a time? So this is gonna get us closer. So that's another thousand. So that's, uh, so this should give us 5,000 if we just do this many, I think. Oopsies. Ooh, it's a little bit misaligned. Have to see how that works. There we go. But this is this is New York. This is what we're doing here. We're like completely <laughs> making New York horrible. <laughs> Cause real New York, they have this law where you you can't have too many ultra tall buildings in the same space because it um, they want light and air to get to the shorter buildings so um yeah or well to in between the other buildings so so they i think that's kind of cool it's really good for urban planning that's for sure okay so we need a tier two classy apartment which is gonna be let's go one two and three can, can we do our classy houses on top of these things let's see we can try let's turn off the auto snap um let's go tab and we might be able to do it. This is a bit iffy, but it's, hey, we won't have to move it, right? Mm. Okay, hey, we did a thing, cool. All right, nice, okay, that's easy, easy peasy. Let's go ahead and move these guys up here. 
Ooh, those two might be a little bit too close together. Let's see if they will work. I don't know. They might. Might work, might not. Let's move this one there. Eh, then no. Those are gonna break, aren't they? Yep. Ah, <sighs> sad times. Alright, let's put this one on top. Yeah, when you when they break, <laughs> yeah, you're you're out of building. <laughs> so that's not good. Not good at all. No. Now we haven't built an airport yet or a stadium, so that could be kind of fun to chuck on top of there. Chuck in the built in the city anyway. Okay, please. Oh, we misaligned that one. All right, let's put this one away. Put that one there maybe, and then move. Let's move this one over here. Obviously this one is not quite happy enough. Eh? This seems to be a tiny bit precise sometimes. Let's see, is that? Yeah, that's in the right place now. You can, you can really check by just mousing over it and seeing where stuff lands. Okay, that one looks to be in the center and chuck that one on top, hooray. Yay! Okay, we got that one. Nice. Let's move this one over here. And we are lacking jobs again, so that's uh, an important consideration. Let's go ahead and build back these classy apartments and the housing on top, which is a little bit fun. I, I like that, you know, in the interim, while these people are like, hey, you know, just don't take a step too far to the left or you'll end up. <laughs> on the ground yeah sad times very sad times okay let's just align that one well put another one on top okay there we go and then let's get our obelisk on top and that should give us enough for 5,000 citizens if we have enough other stuff so let me go ahead and move this one into a position of goodness and happiness. Let's go chuck that one over here, maybe. I don't want to topple those libraries. Let me also grab the libraries. Because they, let's see, they do have quite a large, oh, oh, there we go. Secondary goal complete. All right. And we just need to build the famous landmarks. But I do want to um, kind of complete this by adding a library on top here, making sure that we have enough, uh, yeah, job coverage. And the other thing we wanted to look at is I want to build an airport and see what this does. Okay, uh, base for the airport area building provides income bonus. Okay, so oh, that's a tiny runway. Oh, it must be for miniature planes. How cute. So anyway, let's go ahead and build this. Now, the area that it is showing is I don't think it relates to the income area. It relates to its stuff that need to be around it. So we need to have a, um, so this needs uh, various things. And I think if we put one down and click it, it will tell us what it wants. Okay, so it needs a control tower, hangar, and terminal. So let's get a control tower. We'll put it sort of realistically, like not at the end of the airplane thing. That's not good. Okay, and we can do a big hangar or a big control tower. Yeah, why not? We can do that. I don't know if that makes any difference, but it is kind of a nice little visual thing that you can do that, to change things a bit. So if this is going to be a big place here, we want to add our big terminal. Uh, sure. Somewhere. Yeah, let's do that. And then we need a hangar. Oh, oh no, a UFO! Help! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, we need we need help. Wait, pause, pause, help. Okay, how can I pause the game without doing that? What we need probably is, I think it's a police station with a turret on top. There are turrets. Let's see. Let's go and, uh, yeah. Let's see, does that help us at all? Hello? All right, where does this, does this, do we have a, where is our police station? Here it is. Tier 3 police station. It needs another tier 3 police station? Uh, hello? Uh, apparently. Okay, so let's build another tier 3 police station. Okay, let's just do that. And I think you put the turret on top of it. 
That's a tier two. So this one needs a little camera on the top. Okay, and then we'll put that one on top of this one. I think the UFO is gone, hopefully. Required for upgrade a tier four on the other side. Okay, sure. All right, let's just do a few of these. I wanna check that out, cause I, you know, having all of these aliens, that's kind of inconvenient. Not very convenient at all. Okay, let's put these on top. There we go. We're gonna put this one over here. There we go. Okay, the clonk is real. That's a jail! Oh no, <laughs> I don't want a jail! No, I don't want a jail. I want a, I want a police station. Help! Maybe it is a police station. Yeah, I, let's let's go with that, shall we say? I hope. I wonder if the turrets go on top of this, or... Because this turret... Seems happy. Seems happy, yeah. You know what, we're just gonna go with this, just in case we get some more UFOs. Um, I'm gonna move this building. Because I feel like it's kind of necessary to have the police station in the center of our city. Also, if you want to, you can move the ro um, the roads around. As in, you can delete and add roads as you like. So here's our uh, airport. I think we have more money than we have any right to have, really. You can also take loans out if you need them, as you can see. Um, a farm is another item that can give you some population bonus. Um, but right now, I don't, I'm not sure why this only has the water tower, because it's kind of like the airport where you start off with a barn, and then you add a field, and then you add a silo, um, and a water tower. So I'm not sure why we have just the water tower. It's very strange. Um, but maybe that's something that's being worked on currently. Let's check out our, uh, our thing here. Area quality. People seem to be pretty happy. Um, yep. There we go. Population density. This pe these people need jobs. So we might add some of that. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're looking really good. And fire protection. It looks like a few things are not in our area. So we probably should, um, <laughs> get fire protection for our uh, places like the nuclear power plant. Hmm. That could be useful. You never can tell though. You never can tell. All right, we'll put this one over out here. Uh, that should be fine. <laughs> but anyway, we have, and then we can also build a stadium. Let's see what that looks like. I want to check this one out. Let's see, sports field. So sport, this one is builds, provides a happiness bonus. All right, sounds good. We got a scoreboard, lights, and a grandstand. So let's put that out here. Seems like a nice thing to have. Oh, nice, it's football, hooray. All right, let's go ahead and like, let's go from this side and just make sure that we know how to put stuff. Let's put the scoreboard on this side so people can see the scores. Whoa, that moved the whole thing over. <laughs> That's funny. Let's put this grandstand. Oh, there's football players there. Oh, how nice. That's great. Let's put some lights in here as well. I think you probably need only one of each, but I'm just going to put in a few to make this, like, you know, more realistic. Well, realistic as in people are, they would never fit in those cars. But you never can tell. This is, hey, wh what? What happened? Oh, no. Did they get killed by a light? Oh dear. That looked bad. Why is this falling down? Apparently I'm I'm killing people by doing this. Oh no. They they are very unhappy. I I'm not sure what's going on here. I really don't know. Here, you want a solar panel? <laughs> here. Jeez. Oh god. Uh I do wonder if you can build solar panels in a group or something. Maybe. They don't seem to do much. And the the area of effect is so low, it's kind of like, no, no, not worth. Definitely not. All right, hopefully, hopefully things are going to be fine back in our, they're, they are unhappy. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. I feel very bad about them. They're costing us money laying there screaming. Oh no, Kayla, save us. 
Okay, I'll save you by building a skyscraper next to you. How about that? Yeah? Yeah? Yay! Woo! Okay, so we built a building. Yay. Anyway, <laughs> times are sad for the people of, of our fictional New York City. Anyway, um, I think this hopefully gives you a good idea of what this game is about. I'm going to try to play this on release as well. As you saw, there are many, many, many more levels to play. And uh, yeah, hopefully you will be um, here around and check it out. Let me know what you think of this game. And if you want to see more, uh, please make a comment if you, if you do or, or chat about it on Discord. We're always happy to talk about games and stuff. So anyway, that's going to be it for this, uh, this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.